We were taken in a car mm, to the lady's house in Blackpool, a great big house. And as she opened the door, the lady came to the door uh, with um, lovely curly hair, black curly hair. And she had, which, which I couldn't help looking at because I'd never seen this before, rings on every finger and chains around her neck with a huge smile. My name's Nancy, she said, dear. Come on in, you poor little mites. And little mites went in and she said, my name's Nancy, but you call me madam. I was like, oh, thank you. And we got in, there was all these girls sitting around. There was one girl sitting on the stairs, painting her nails. And then there was another girl sort of sitting on a settee with long blonde Hello, and she, what's it like in London? It was all lovely. And then, then some, Chats, men pop their head round and say, gee, with a couple of Londoners then, you know, they're all talking in an American accent. She took us up to this lovely room with a, um, a pink eider down, like a pink cover, and, and our own little glass, and it was absolutely wonderful. Make yourself comfortable, she said, and then come down and have something to eat. And then we went round and met all the girls. And this was lovely, I loved it there, I loved it. And um, during the day, the girls, who always looked so posh, so really nice. They were always dressed up in lovely dressing gowns. I never really saw them dressed as such, but they had dressing gowns on. And they would paint my nails red. I'm 13 years old by this time. I'd have my nails painted. I had these huge rollers in my hair and I was allowed to go to the ballroom, the dance hall at night. Didn't want to come back. And then when the time came to come back, because I had to come back because I had to go to work, and uh, I, I was thinking, well, what sort of job can I get? Because I, I don't really, not that really clever now. I leave in school at nine, so I said to these girls, they didn't, you, you don't seem to go out to work. What, what, um, don't you go to work? And she said, oh no, dear, she said, we do work, but this is our job. We, we work really hard. We take care of the American soldiers and we keep them happy. Oh, I thought, that's a good job. Oh, I think I'll do that one. So I wrote to my mother and I said, um, this, I found a job, I won't be coming back. I'm going to take care of the American soldiers and they'll pay us. <laughs> and a few days later, my mother came down, red-faced, angry, furious. She came down with this woman with the WVS, Women's Voluntary Service. They wore a green hat with, the, that was how you knew they were WVS, a green hat with WVS on. And, uh, and I could see her ranting and raving at this woman. And I thought, what, she's, why is she telling her off? That woman's been really kind. And that, that I didn't understand. But that, that was, that was a, the final evacuation. I loved that place. I loved it. I loved the girls. The girls were really nice. Whatever their, their, their job, they were really lovely girls. They were good to me, yes.